of trophies الاهلي ويا سلام ستاديوم ام يمنع عطف ان يو ار واتشينج الاهلي اونلاين تي في انجلش نيوز جاين يو ذا توب ويكلي نيوز اون ذا كلوب اوف ذا سنتري سو ليتس ستارت وذ ذا هيدلاينز الخطيب عن الوزيري ينجوريت الاهلي لوكسور صلاح ان بنون لرى الاهلي تو بريشس وين اوفر اسماعيلي موسيماني We played handball and defeated Ismaili. Al Ahli held to two to two draw against AS Vida Club. Al Ahli win basketball derby. Al Ahli President Captain Mahmoud Al Khatib and CEO and Managing Director of Sedat Company Saif Al Waziri inaugurated Al Ahli Luxor branch. Luxor branch was officially inaugurated in a huge ceremony in the presence of the Egyptian Minister of Youth and Sports, Dr. Ashraf Subhi, and Al Ahli board members, some of the club's icons, public figures, and as well as Saif Al Waziri, CEO and Managing Director of Sedat Company. Al Ahli's branch in Luxor is the biggest in the Gulf. Governorate as it is built on 13 acres of land and includes football stadium with a capacity of 5,000 fans, several arenas for individual and sports teams, Olympic swimming pool, indoor hall, five site pitches, social buildings, several arenas to serve the club's football, basketball, handball and volleyball academies, gym and mosque. Al Ahli managed to defeat Ismaili 2-0 in a postponed game from week 12 of the Egyptian Premier League at Borg Al Arab Stadium. The first half ended in a goalless draw and it did not witness any dangerous scoring chances from both teams. In the second half, our Moroccan defender Badr Benoun opened the score from the penalty spot in the 72 minute. The Red Eagles maintained the dominance in the game and in the 88th minute, our striker Salah Mohsen doubled the score after a fantastic effort to secure Al Ahli's victory. After such victory, Al Ahli is now in second place with 27 points, while Ismaili stayed in the position of 16. In his post-match press conference, Musumani expressed his happiness with the victory and reflected on the team's performance in the game, saying that although they didn't achieve the three points against say a Vida club, but they played very well, pointing out that he needs all players to perform when called upon, as Marwan Mohsen, who managed to score a goal in the last game after coming from the bench and he expressed his confidence in the team, assuring that they would do their best to beat Vida Club in Congo to qualify for the next round. Al Ahli were held to a 2-2 draw against Sayas Vida Club on Saturday in match day 3 of the CAF Champions League group stage. The visitors opened the score four minutes before half-time by Glory Lilipo, while our substitutes Muhammad Sharif and Marwan Mohsen scored Al Ahli's goal in the 69 and 71 minutes respectively. But the Congolese team equalized the score 10 minutes before the final whistle from a controversial penalty. Al Ahli and AS Vida Club are second in the group with four points, three points behind the leader Simba of Tanzania, while in Marikh of Sudan are at the bottom of the group table with one point. The Red Eagles totally dominated the match and managed to create several scoring opportunities, but we failed to convert those opportunities to the net as we were unlucky in the game. Al Ahli men's basketball team completed a sensational comeback to defeat Zimalik 112 to 106 on Friday in the Egyptian league. Abdullah Al Faisal Hall in Gazira witnessed a fantastic atmosphere as Al Ahli players came from behind to win the match. Al Ahli's player Alex Young put in a good performance in the first quarter as he managed to score several three-pointers. However, the first quarter ended with Zamalik taking the lead, 27 to 17. The visitors kept their lead in the second quarter, which ended 55 to 42 points. The performance of Al Ahli players improved in 
the third quarter, and we managed to close the gap in the score to seven points. The last quarter was completely dominated by the Red Eagles, who secured a lost gas draw, and the game went to extra time after the regular time ended in a 95-95 draw. Al Ali's dominance continued in the extra time, while we took the lead and won the match 112 to 106. Thanks for watching Al Ahli Online TV English News. From Al Ahli Wiya Salam Stadium, I'm Yamna Atwa. See you next week.